Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to another Path of Exile video. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a really powerful set of leveling wands. You can use these for traps, brands, mines, uh, regular spell casting, anything like that, spell slinger. Uh, lots of good stuff. You can get plus one gem level and then a flat uh, amount of damage to spells. And these are very, very powerful for leveling. Going to carry you through the whole campaign very, very easily. Uh, Going to feel particularly powerful early on. Um, so for instance, let me just grab a skill oh, wow. gem here that I might want to use. Uh, so this is a cold spell. Say I want to use freezing pulse. Uh, currently... If I were to use Freezing Pulse, I would have 17.4 uh, DPS. However, if I put Freezing Pulse into this wand, 86.4. And you can get two of these, and they would be extremely, extremely strong on any character, and they're just going to absolutely carry you through. So the first method to start preparing for this is you would need to go to a vendor with a new character that you leveled the to town, and you vendor a Wisdom Orb and an Orb of Scouring to get a Book of Regression. You simply use the Book of Regression. You go from level 2 down to level 1. You get level 2 from killing uh, Hillock. And now the wands in your shop will be item level 2. And this is important because a bunch of new mods become available at level 3. Uh, so, and you basically want to block those out. So you would purchase all of the white wands and any wands that already have plus to skill gem levels and then um, you can kind of you have a couple of options so what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna go get level 2 again and then I'm going to uh, basically do it all over again because the shop resets when you gain a level Okay, I hit level 2, so I'm just going to log back into this character, and as you can see at level 2, uh, if I go here, the item level on these wands is 3. Uh, I'm still going to check them in case there is uh, a plus 1 wand already in there, but there was not. So now, I simply use an orb of regression, or uh, use the scouring orb and the wisdom, Get a book of regression, use it, go back to the shop, item level 2 again. Uh, check these. So, okay, this one already has, and cast speed, this one's actually perfect. Uh, so I'll buy all the wands except for this one, which is already rolled. Actually, never mind, I, I can buy that as well. Um, and basically, I'm going to fill up my entire inventory until I have those. So now that I have an inventory full, I'm going to put them in a stash tab. Uh, let's see, put them here. Um, well, before I do that, I'm going to uh, roll them. So I'm going to use uh, just regular transmutes on all of them that aren't already. Uh, and then, um, so I'm going to be getting rid of chaos gems. Uh, so I'm going to put that there, check for any other plus one wands. Okay, didn't get any other ones. Um, so you can actually, I, it's a prefix, so any of them that have suffixes, you would simply uh, go ahead and throw an augment on, which is just this one. Okay, didn't get any, so we'll go through again. Alright, I just wasted a huge amount of time trying to roll on a level 1 wand, which cannot possibly roll it, so don't make that mistake, I accidentally moved my level 1 wand. Um, to that so now i've got almost a full inventory i've got 11 total wands um i could get one more and actually while well, i'll do that by showing you the other method yeah i wasted something like 250 alterations uh trying to roll it on a level one wand don't do that <laughs> It's a really bad idea. I was like, how is it possible I haven't rolled it by now? I've got to be the unluckiest person in the world. Um, but anyway, for the next thing you're going to do, you're going to want to go to, uh, you're going to want to get onto a fast character. I've got a raider. Um, you want to make a 
uh, loot filter that specifically highlights wands, which I have right here. I called it wands. And then you go to the coast, which is a level two zone. So I'm just going to go to the coast and I've pretty much got everything hidden except for wands. So I'm just going to start killing stuff. Go to the coast. Uh, start killing stuff. Hopefully I can find some stuff. And usually I get like uh, two or three wands using this method. But it kind of... Results may vary, you know? There you go. All right, got my last wand, so I'm just going to go back to town real quick. Uh, we can see if we get any more, I guess, on the way. But... All right, I'll turn my normal loot filter back on as well. So there you go. So, oh, actually, before I do that, just want to show driftwood wand i have it with like a red outline and it is item level two there you go switch back to my normal loot filter go back to town and i now have a full inventory full of wands so uh what now well i'm gonna pull this cane of unraveling i have out from here throw it in somewhere else um, and fill up my inventory with wands. I actually have to roll this last one, so let's uh, do that first. I almost just used it. Okay, cast speed and physical. Okay, so I got some physical, cold, fire, uh, cold, lightning, physical. Got a lot of physical, only a couple of lightning. That's fine. If I was uh, running some sort of physical spell, that would work like maybe like a blade vortex for leveling that would be just fine um, if you're looking for specific ones obviously you would roll more but lots of them have like cast speed on them too which is perfect like generally speaking and some of them have attack speed too if you're shield charging so uh, lots of good stuff there so now I'm gonna go to uh, blood aqueduct or a level one map or whatever you want uh, but something later in the game uh, the reason we're doing this is because scourged items, um, when I put these into the crucible, oop, I'm getting the latency issue. Okay. When I put these into the crucible, I hope this doesn't stick around. I've been getting a lot of latency issues. That's part of the reason I'm doing these kinds of videos. Uh, you can see they only take 763 uh, corruption in order to get uh, improved. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and kill some stuff, uh, get some blood, fill up the blood bar. All right, now that that's filled up, uh, you press it, you kill a couple things, it shouldn't take too long. There you go. Uh, go out, transform both of these. I'm not even going to look at them until the end. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we'll get a lot of good ones. So, uh, throw them back in here. And go through them. Okay, so first one. Okay, this is just added fire. Uh, added fire will add it to the actual attack, so it's not useful. Uh, it's not bricked either, so this one's just basically like a plus one wand with, unfortunately, minus to fire resistance. Uh, once again, we got... Uh, a non-bricked one, but it isn't useful. This one is increased lightning damage with cold spell gems, so that's uh, not useful either. Um, this one is reduce mana regenerate with plus resistance. Uh, it's not bricked though. This one is spell damage, so this one's okay. This one's usable. It's better than just a regular plus one wand. 
Uh, this one is not bricked. Uh, this one is, uh, well, it's got the cold damage to spells on a lightning spell skill gems. Uh, this is good. This is good. This is uh, perfect for like a lightning trap or something because you're going to want to use cold damage anyway. I did get an additional beneficial effect, which is the uh, added chaos. That's another thing I should note. Um, if you have the chance to add an additional beneficial effect, um, which is, there you go, strange forces, if you have this, you could possibly get uh, a lot more average damage on a wand. You could get it twice. Uh, this one's excellent as well. Uh, plus uh, spell, yep, flat spell with cold. In fact, it synergizes perfectly with this one. So uh, deals no chaos damage is a good downside too because we're not going to be doing any chaos damage. Um, this one is reduced fire damage, but fl uh, lightning damage to and physical. So, yep, good blade vortex or something. Um, this one... No physical damage. Okay, this one's bricked. No physical damage in plus physical skill gem levels. So what we got one bricked one. Um, this one's lightning with lightning damage dispels. This one's excellent. This is probably our best one. Um, and this one is not bricked. So out of all those, we had one original one, um, which is this one. So we had uh, one okay outcome uh four good outcomes and six um not bricked but not really that great i would probably just sell these uh back to the vendor ones and then one bricked outcome so um very excellent results um all of these would be super good for leveling uh and we got a good variety we got a physical one we got a lightning one we got uh two cold ones and another fire one so yeah perfect um, if I wanted to do like, uh, like a lightning brand build, I would take, I think I have two lightning ones. Uh, maybe I don't. Yep. I have two lightning ones. Um, and I would take these out and I would just go to town uh, plus one to lightning gem levels. And then like a lot of, uh, extra damage, a lot of extra damage. So this is a perfect way to get a lot of uh, really good leveling ones. Uh, the whole process takes probably like, I mean, it's expensive in alterations. I used a lot more alterations than I should have, but realistically, we're probably looking at about 125 alterations to get an inventory to get like roughly the results that I got, plus like a couple of dozen augments. And then, you know, like 12 uh, transmutes but that's nothing so it is going to be a little expensive in terms of alterations uh in terms of time i filmed this in 28 minutes but a portion of that was like probably eight to ten minutes was uh spent wasting time trying to roll a level one wand so realistically the whole process is going to take about 20 minutes as you can see the the final leveling process is very quick it takes less than one zone it's like that one's probably like three minutes so rolling the wands is going to take a bulk of the time and some of it was also demoing the other method um so honestly the you could probably make like four really good leveling wands per 15 20 minutes if you do this efficiently and uh, you'll never have to worry about leveling any of your spellcasters again i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative this has been ryan from behind eyes gaming and i will see you next time bye